الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد It's incredibly important for the believer to have righteous companions to surround themselves with good and provide themselves with an environment of good and the Muslims they strengthen one another the believers they strengthen one another by worshiping Allah and a calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and this is the way in which the believers remind one another as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al-kareem فَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ ذِكْرْ تَنْفَعُ مُؤْمِنِينَ That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know in, in the Qur'an and orders us to remind one another. For verily in the reminder there is benefit for the believers. So by reminding one another of good we receive good. And that is a reminder to good. So of course, it is a wasila or a means to good, and the end result is good. And as we've mentioned countless times, that dhikr Allah Azza wa Jal, by mentioning the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, reflecting on his signs, his ayat, whether it be the ayat koniyah, from the creation, the, the things like the beauty of uh, the trees and the mountains and the, uh, the, the beautiful things in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation, or it be the ayat shari'a, meaning those ayats in the Quran, verses in the Quran. And with that, the akhoa, the brotherhood, is based on calling and inviting one another to taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, to fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to do the things Allah tabarak wa ta'ala has commanded you and stay away from those things he has prohibited you from. This is what the believing brotherhood, this is the asas, this is the foundation. And may Allah bless all the Muslims to be brothers united on the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, calling to Tawheed, to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And reflecting on the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together and practicing the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the madhab of the salaf of this ummah. That's what the true akhua is. But it takes a clean heart. It takes a clean heart that each of the brothers should have an open heart to accepting and loving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The open heart is not clouded with loving someone because they're the same color as you or loving someone for the same nationality, or the same, uh, you know, passport, or, or whatever, or the same hizb even, <clears throat> the same group or sect, but rather the akhowa saheha is loving for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that you love that person for the sake of Allah, because of their worship of Allah, because they love Allah and they worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. So we love each other in accordance with our obedience. So you love the one, if you truly have strong iman in this, uh, of, in this affair, then it is loving your brother in accordance with their obedience to Allah. Meaning the one who is closer to following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and closer to being on the madhab and the manhaj of the salaf of this ummah following the sunnah of the sahaba عنهم, and how they understood the religion, then this person you should love. You should love them to the highest love uh, in the Islamic fashion. But the person who is also a believer, but yet there many, you see them differing in the sunnah in many respects. They have sh many shortcomings and, and outward sins and stuff. This person you don't love on the same level. The love, if you truly love for the sake of Allah, it's not the same. But in both of them is good, as the Prophet ﷺ said as far as the strong believer and the weak believer. But both of them are good, and both of them is good. Letting us know, in accordance with the hadith of the Prophet wasallam, that all the believers have goodness in them. All of Ahl-Iman have good. 
And I just want to encourage myself and others to strengthen one another based on Kitab wa Sunnah. Help and assist one another. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al Mu'min Lil Mu'min Kil Bunyan Yushidduhu Ba'dhu Ba'dha. The Prophet Sallallahu Rabbi Wasallam said, The Mu'min to the Mu'min <coughs> is like a structure, like a building structure. They strengthen one another. And as an example, if we were to take, for example, this tree, this tree is a very solid structure. And the believers are like the various parts of this tree. They strengthen one another because this would not be a tree if we don't have these, these limbs here. If the limbs don't exist, it isn't a tree. And it definitely isn't a tree and will not be a living tree if it doesn't have the, uh, the roots of the tree. They strengthen one another. Al mu'min lil mu'min kil bunyan yushadhu ba'dhu ba'dha. That the mu'min to the mu'min is like the building structure. They str strengthen one another. So, for example, regarding a building, the Prophet ﷺ made this analogy, <coughs> letting us know that we should be like one hand and we should be like one body and we should be like one building strengthen one another because in a building if you have a tall uh, skyscraper or what have you you have cement in it for sure as your foundation it's built of cement in the cement there are components there's rebar meaning there's steel in there to reinforce what is steel what does the rebar do it reinforces the concrete it holds the concrete together that's just in that aspect and that's the effect the effect of the believer and the rest of the building it's filled it has iron and it possibly has some wood framing and it has all these things which make up the building structure strengthening one another if you build you make some two by fours you make a wall and you don't put drywall on it or you don't put some other covering to cover the the or plywood and 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 and, and drywall on it then it won't it'll be it'll have some strength but it won't have its full strength. You will see how much stronger it becomes once you put the the the, uh, the plywood on it, or you put uh, the other you put drywall on it. Then it becomes a structure, a strong structure, and that's the affair of the believer. They strengthen one another, and that's why we should strengthen one another, supplicate for one another, help and assist one another, uh, call each other to the Quran and the Sunnah, the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, to correct ourselves, to correct our mistakes. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless the Ummah to come together as one structure. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.